Hey Zalibas, this is Super Zamaka Barbecue, and today we are going to be getting ourselves some new pros. Five, in fact. In fact, it might be more than five by the end of this if we get ourselves some lucky King of the Ring awards, which you're about to segue into now. But I have five amazing new Ultimate Pros to get, four of which I can pro right now. I've got myself Kevin Owens, John Cena, Samoa Joe, all very relevant superstars as well. Another John Cena, two John Cenas. Not that I should be able to see him or anything. And we also have ourselves Nia Jax as well, which are all pros we're going to get leveled up right now. And I'm going to show you, give you a little bit of insight into how I token cards as well, just in case you guys have ever wondered. Uh, so there's one Kevin Owens right there. Let's check out John Cena right here as well. I actually might do that to his second card as well, because I've got his second card fully leveled up, I think. Yeah, here we go. It's good, okay. So we have all the cards here which we need to get over. We've got Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe's ready. Kevin Owens is ready. So we're going to get into this now. Before I do that, remember to hit a huge thumbs up on this video. If we could do a GTS, let's GTS the like button. And I apologize for any damage you cause if you'll need to that phone. I am not responsible for any medical emergencies or lives lost or phones damaged as a result. But let's get right into it anyway. And also don't forget to subscribe as well, just pass by there. But let's do these pros first of all. Then we're going to enter a bit of Road to Glory because we need to level up our deck. But we need to talk about something that has happened with PCC. And I hate to say it, it's not particularly great news if you're a fan of PCC. Before we do that, we're going to get these cards leveled up. I'm going to actually level up Samoa Joe. Let's actually have a look at what his other, the other cards are good in. Because, uh, see, I'm just thinking, he doesn't have particularly good charisma, but then again, you know, I can't really level up in charisma because Kevin Owens is going to be leveled up in charisma. Uh, let's see, does he beat, oh, he beats John Cena in free stats. That's pretty insane. Okay, fine. Well, tell you what, we're going to level up Samoa Joe so he can beat up John Cena. There's one Samoa Joe, ready to beat up John Cena. Here's a second Samoa Joe, ready to beat up John Cena. I believe as well, he free stats Seth Rollins, I believe, if I'm not wrong. Uh, clarify if I'm wrong, but I know he free stats one big, big card. Maybe, maybe I'll even be Brock Lesnar that he free stats, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, if I go to Kevin Owens now, we're going to do power, toughness, and charisma because Kevin Owens is bay. And then we're also going to uh, give John Cena. This is the second card. Yep, that's good. Power, uh, toughness. I'm going to put a little bit extra in there. And I'm going to take out one speed and put the rest in charisma. He's actually the highest rated charisma card in the game, one of the highest rated uh, power cards as well. So he's actually quite useful. So let's just check we've got all the tokens on the cards. And this card I've been waiting for for a long ass time. Uh, Nia Jax finally going to get her pro I know, it's been forever since I actually got this card. Um, so I'm very, very happy to get this done finally. Uh, let's go and level up power, toughness and speed again. The reason I'm going for this is because this, there's a plenty of um, charisma cards. Or cards that are high in charisma people go for and go to pro. So uh, it's, in, it's good to have a little bit of variety in there. Maybe potentially win a couple of extra matches in King of the Rings and whatnot. So let's just make sure I've got all of these unlocked. Let's just check one last time if they are pro So the pro game pro correctly. Let's combine. Smojo's done. That's number one. They got number two is Kevin Owens. He's done. Number three is John Cena, a 16 time world champ. There he is. I'll change their images in a second. And we also have Nia Jax. The last John Cena I can't get done just yet. But I'm going I'm to make sure these guys are locked in because I've got one more John Cena to get trained up. But let's go to all the way to the end. Let's lock in at these cards. In fact, got John Cena here. You've got Kevin Owens there, and you've got Nia Jax over here. So Nia Jax, I'm going to keep her image, unless I can change it to something else. Because you've got a Harden image I'd really like to use, but yeah. Her WrestleMania, her WrestleMania image is trash, so I'm just going to go and use for John Boy. It's none other. It has to be. There's no other, other image you can use apart from the US Championship image, because it is just so awesome. Kevin Owens as well. There's just no other image you can use other than the Universal Title image. Um, and with NXT Samoa Joe, again, there is no other image you can use apart from this one of him in the NXT Championship. Or possibly he could instead be wearing Seth Rollins MCL. 
because he tore that off his leg pretty much on Monday Night Raw. But instead of throwing some shade, we've got some previous title holders, and we've also got Nia Jax over there. Let me know if you've got yourself any new pros in the comment section below. I am going to fill up this King of the Ring now with the new cards. Um, I don't know if I might, I might leave the other ones up, but I need to get Nia Jax in at least because she's better than Natalia and like God knows how many stats. So let's get into some more road score reaction whilst we talk about it, but let's get the deck edited first. But let's get right into the content of the video. And this is actually a response that came from WWE Supercard themselves via their feedback after a Twitter post a long time ago where they said that PCC is an event mode which is going to be coming back to WWE Supercard very, very, very soon. Now, the reason why they said that, obviously, is because a lot of people have been asking, where is PCC in WWE Supercard? And the response to that, unfortunately, doesn't seem very positive because I've now seen for the fifth or sixth time now in about two days, an email come back now from their support team for some people, it's been coming back from the last month, saying that WWE Supercard Season 3 does not have PCC in it and it was an event mode removed but if it is something they are going to bring back then they will inform people uh, collectively through Twitter or through other social media links so very simply put it seems that PCC has been taken out of circulation for season 3 so what are your thoughts about that? That is a big, big call from them to do that because a lot of people enjoyed PCC I know it wasn't the most fun game mode but if you limited it like you, they used to do a Teams PCC, down to like one a month or something, I think it could work. But it's an event, it was in fact the first WWE Supercard event that they ever made. PCC was the first event in Supercard in Season 1. Uh, it, it was the first one I believe was, um, if I'm not mistaken, it was Brock Lesnar vs John Cena. Last one it seems, so far unless we receive any other information, was Sasha Banks versus Charlotte in the Women's Championship one, which I believe was around about the time of Survivor Series, uh, if I'm not wrong. Uh, they were, had the matches for those, which, uh, you know, it'd be a shame if they ended it that way. I'm not saying it's a bad thing against Sasha and Charlotte, but you know, they were basically the, the, the Divas PCC for like two or three times in a row. Uh, so it'd be nice if we could end it, if, if, if it is ending on some kind of special event. Maybe they could bring it back as like a special attraction, like a Flash PCC every so often. Who knows at this point, but uh, I hope that's not the case. I hope it comes back because a lot of the hardcore supercar players and a lot of the guys who want to really progress, and that's one of the reasons why PCC is so important. And I'm going to make this point right now. PCC is not only important for the guys who are at the top, but the guys at the bottom as well. I've got two friends who actually liked grinding PCC because they got themselves better cards than they currently have, and they actually got them to get themselves to the tier they're in at the moment. They play it quite casually. For them to get into Summer Sam tier at this point is actually quite an achievement. And a lot of the time they used PCC to get there and they were actually quite excited whenever PCC came around. Yeah, they weren't happy with some of the, the, card, the card choices and you know, the crap that used to go around where people would just like vote for the, the card they liked instead of the card that was best for them. They weren't happy maybe too much with that, but they definitely were happy with the fact that you could get yourself better rewards and better cards just by basically playing the game. You didn't have to buy anything for it. It was just a an easy way if you have the time to grind it. And I do think it has its place. And uh, the thing they're saying now is that basically ranked mode has kind of effectively taken its place. But ranked mode, really, for the, the, the rewards for that are just garbage. They should be way, way, way better, way, way more rewarding for the people who are basically playing that mode 24-7, pretty much. They're pretty much going ham on that mode just to get 10,000 credits and honestly at this point I prefer PCC because at least PCC you got yourself in a little event card which you could then actually end up leveling up but maybe only make it available to the guys who are literally at the top the guys who can grind that much maybe make it a bit more diverse maybe they'll bring in a new event to change it who knows at this point but uh, right now all I know is that uh, it seems it's gone it's going what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section below because it doesn't seem good. It doesn't seem good for WWE Supercard's uh, PCC mode. It seems like it's it's gone bye bye forever. But you know, in one way, I'm happy because I didn't like uh, the constant grind. But as I said, I'm I'm still quite disappointed they maybe couldn't have changed it around. But 
Maybe, who knows, we'll find out something soon about it where it's a bit more positive and we actually get the game mode back. Maybe it's a one-off every month or one every five weeks, I don't know. Um, but your thoughts on that in the comment section whilst we get through this next game, Road to Glory. And uh, remember to make sure you like this video. Make sure so you hit the subscribe button, which is going to pop up just down here in a minuten. And also, don't forget to check out the other videos that I've done recently, including the WWE Champions video. In fact, we have a WWE Champions video coming very, very, very soon. Because a little birdie told me, and it wasn't this Undertaker, it wasn't this edition Undertaker. Um, a little birdie told me that we hit a thousand likes in that video. Now, if we can get 1,500 likes in that video, then I might just do myself a little opening of, um, you know, maybe some Mega Superstar packs. I know you guys love pack openings, so... If you want to go check out our video, go hit it. It's going to pop up just over there in a second. And hit the like button. And maybe we can get ourselves a little additional pack opening. You guys like that? Then go and do it. Uh, before we get to the end of the, uh, end of the video, remember like, subscribe, comment, etc. Let me know if you are getting on well in Road to Glory this week or in whatever week you're watching this on. And yeah, basically we are done. So uh, check out the description below for details to Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and now Facebook. Make sure you go and like and follow on all those pages as well. Yeah, we're getting towards the end of this match. And uh, one last thing before we go, and that is to... Zonif! Off it goes. Cable Ward, it is! <laughs> oh, dear. After the last couple of days... I probably couldn't have guessed that this was going to be the card that I got. It is number 30, Roman Reigns. <laughs> I know that because I've seen so many salty people about the Royal Rumble. Oh, and dear. All it is is just hate on Roman Reigns. Yep. Roman Reigns. The man who is number 30. And if you haven't seen my reaction to him coming out number 30, you need to. It's pretty epic. <laughs> um, oh my god, it is! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Clamper, guess what? What happened? It it's was a, a sick pro. Oh my god. Silver Star. This is what you get, Roman! The sixth pro is a silver. <laughs> Man, you're just sick and twisted today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Roman, you suck. It had to happen. One day, I had to silver star Roman Reigns. Today is yeah, the day. He...